In this program, we will provide an overview of the auxiliary power unit and describe its operation. Let's begin with an overview. The auxiliary power unit is located in the tail section of the airplane. On the ground, the APU supplies enough electrical power for all airplane requirements and sufficient bleed air for three air conditioning packs or one air conditioning pack and main engine start. APU bleed air may be used for one pack during takeoff and in flight up to a maximum altitude of 15,000 feet. APU electrical power is not available in flight. The APU is not certified for operation above 20,000 feet. The APU cannot be started in flight. The APU selector is located on the electrical panel. The APU generator control and battery switches are also located on the electrical panel. The APU bleed air switch is located on the bleed air panel. An APU start source switch is located on the overhead maintenance panel, allowing a transformer rectifier unit or APU battery to be selected for start. With the start source switch in TR, its normal position, the transformer rectifier automatically provides power for APU starting whenever utility bus 4 is powered. With the start source switch in TR and the transformer rectifier unavailable, starter power is automatically supplied from the APU battery. The APU battery position selects the APU battery and is used for start in the transformer rectifier phase. Either an AC or DC fuel pump in main tank number two supplies fuel to the APU. An APU fuel valve controls the flow of fuel from the tank to the APU. Air for the APU enters through a movable inlet door on the right side of the fuselage above the horizontal stabilizer. The APU exhaust is through the tail cone. Starting and operating the APU requires the APU battery and the main battery. The transformer rectifier powers the APU starter. The APU battery powers the APU at DC fuel pump, the APU controller, the air inlet door, the APU fire detectors, and is the alternate power source for the APU starter motor. The main battery powers the APU fuel valve and the APU fire extinguisher. It is also a backup power source for the APU controller. Question. Answer C is correct. Now let's take a look at the operation of the APU. We'll begin with normal operation. The battery switch must be on to operate the APU. To start the APU, momentarily rotate the selector to the start position and release. The selector is spring-loaded to the on position. This begins the automatic start sequence. The automatic start sequence activates the DC fuel pump, opens the APU fuel valve and air inlet door, and arms the APU bleed air valve.
When AC power is available, the number two aft main tank AC fuel pump and the number three aft main tank AC fuel pump supply fuel to the APU. When the air inlet door is fully open, the starter motor engages and the APU engine start sequence begins. When the APU reaches its normal operating speed, the ICAST memo message APU running is displayed. The available lights on the APU generator switches illuminate when electrical power output is within normal limits. Pushing each APU generator control switch on one at a time safely implies APU electrical power to the airplane. It is Atlas procedure to only select APU generator number one on for pre-flight. This ensures the PDU's powered drive units will be powered for cargo loading. With the APU bleed air switch on, the bleed air valve is commanded open and bleed air is available to the airplane. APU indications for EGT, N1 and N2, oil quantity and battery condition are located on the ICAS status display. Agenta RF or LO is displayed next to the oil quantity indication when quantity is below the prescribed level. RF indicates oil quantity is below the refill level. LO replaces RF when a low oil level condition exists. The APU controller allows unattended operation of the APU by continuously monitoring system performance and controlling operating parameters within program limits. Automatic shutdown protection is provided by the APU controller through fault detection logic. Question. Answer D is correct. The start position of the APU selector is a momentary position spring-loaded to on. Moving the selector to start begins the automatic APU start sequence. Rotating the APU selector to off initiates the automatic shutdown sequence. If open, the APU bleed air valve closes. The memo message, APU running, is no longer displayed and the lights in the generator control switches extinguish as the generators shed their load. The APU continues to operate unloaded for 60 seconds to allow the gas turbine engine to cool before shutdown. After the cool down period, the fuel valve automatically closes and the APU shuts down. If you are securing the airplane, a complete shutdown sequence with fire detection capability can be assured by waiting at least two minutes after the APU selector is rotated to the off position before placing the battery switch off. If the battery switch is positioned off prior to the completion of the 60 second cool down cycle, the APU shuts down without a delay. With the battery switch off, though, the APU will be without fire detection capability for the remainder of the shutdown sequence.
Question. Answer C is correct. Waiting at least two minutes allows the APU to complete the 60-second cool-down cycle and also provides fire detection capability until the APU has fully shut down. Let's discuss APU non-normal operation. The ICAS warning message, Fire APU, is displayed when an APU fire is detected. The APU automatically shuts down without the normal delay for cooldown. On the ground, the APU fire bottle is automatically discharged into the APU compartment. ICAS advisory message APU is displayed when an automatic fault shutdown occurs with the APU selector on or when APU N1 RPM is above 95% with the APU selector off. If a fault occurs, the APU shuts down automatically without the normal delays for cooldown. If the APU message remains displayed, restart should not be attempted. Rotating the APU selector off removes the ICAS message. With the message removed, the APU may be restarted. Refer to the operations manual for starting restrictions. The ICAS advisory message, APU door is displayed when the APU door position disagrees with the commanded position. The ICAS advisory message, APU fuel is displayed when the position of the APU fuel valve disagrees with commanded position or when APU fuel pump pressure is low with the fuel pump commanded to run. Question. Answer A is correct. Additional APU systems information can be found in AVT modules and operations manual chapters dealing with electrical, fire protection, fuel, and bleed air pneumatics.